हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल वर्ल्ड ऑफ ए डब्ल्यू एस आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड माई सेल्फ विपिन कुमार सो वी आर सेटिंग अप ग्रफाना एंड प्रोमिथियस ऑन ई सी टू सर्वर टू मोनिटर आवर टारगेट ई सी टू इंस्टांस ओके सो आई हैव कॉन्फिगर्ड माई प्रोमिथियस डॉट वाई एम एल विथ दिस कॉन्फिगेशन ओके एंड आई हैव रिप्लेसड माई टारगेट पब्लिक प्राइवेट आई पी एड्रेस विद द दिस आई पी एड्रेस ओके सो यू नीड टू रिप्लेस दिस आई पी एड्रेस विथ योर टारगेट ई सी टू इंस्टांस आई पी एड्रेस ओके सो लेट जम्प टू द डब्ल्यू एस कॉन्सोल एंड आई कैन सी यू लाइक दिस इज द प्रोमिथियस आई पी एड्रेस पब्लिक आई पी एड्रेस एंड आई एम चेकिंग लाइक आई कैन सी द टारगेट आई पी एड्रेस है ओके इट्स रनिंग सो हेयर यू कैन सी सो लेट्स गो बैक टू द डॉक्यूमेंट हेयर ओके एंड हेयर यू कैन सी दिस राइट एंड नाउ वी हैव टू मेक सम चेंजेस इन आवर लाइक प्रोमिथ डॉट वाई एम एल फाइल सो इन ऑर्डर टू डैट वी नीड टू क्रिएट वन यूजर and i have to give read only permission and we need access key and secret key of that user okay so if you don't have iam user then you first need to create one iam user and you need to give ec to read only permission and you need to create access key and secret key so that you can use it here okay so let's go to the repo here and uh, service discovery dot yml and we just need to copy this copy and go to the prometheus server okay so let me do first ls la sudo cat let me show you the configuration first okay so this is the current configuration of my prometheus dot yml so now i have to edit it so press i and then paste the sorry sorry we have to copy it from here okay so here we have to change our region if you are using us is 2 then it's fine you don't need to change it so i am using us is 1 which is north virginia and here we need to give access id and secret key id okay so let me give the access key id uh, okay so let me paste it here and now we have to give secret key id so let me let me copy it then we need to provide the secret key id here now i will save it okay and let's go back to the document here and now we need to restart the prometheus okay so let me restart it and now let's now let's check the status of prometheus server so it's running or not here you can see yeah it's running and active right so let's go back to the document here now we have to uh, open this the prometheus server as a target so here you can see so yeah here we go we can see the target one is up 
like 172.31.39 so it's showing as a target is up okay so you can see the target is up now okay so let's go back okay and now we have to install grafana on our prometheus server ec2 instance so for that we i am here on a uh, grafana documentation page and i have selected edition open source let's copy this command okay and press here and just go back to the home directory and run this command this will install and configure grafana so now we have to run this command okay now we have to run this command So Grafana is installed now. So let me fix extract it. So we need to run few commands to uh, start the Grafana server. So it's already suggesting we can do it. So now we have to run this command to make it Grafana server active. Okay. So now, sorry, sorry. Just copy and paste. Okay. Then let's go back to the document here and here we need to check the grafana service status so let's check the status of grafana so okay so yeah so it's enabled okay grafana is enabled and we can see we can see it here so let's go back to the document and we need to open the port here sorry we need to open this ip address so let's open it column 3000 So Grafana will open now. Okay. Now let's go back to the document. Now first thing we will be doing after logging to Grafana, we will be adding data source. Okay. It's taking bit more time because it's uh, getting open for the first time because we have just installed it so it will take few time so let's go back to the document here then after that after uh, like uh, adding the data source we need we will be creating dashboard okay so let's go back here so it's still loading here why it's loading here this must time yeah so it's by default the password and the username will be admin only so now we have to set the new password so just hit on some bit so let it come so here we can see the 
add data source now click on it click on this from ETS and our data source name is Prometheus HTTP colon double forward slash local host okay colon 9090 forward slash so let's recheck again that we have given the correct path so local host colon double forward slash local host colon 9090 right so it's correct right now we have to click on save and test so successfully queried the queried the um, prometheus api now go back to the document here and now we have to click on this this icon so let's go back click here click on explore so let it come this video is getting bit more longer than usual uh, because i will try to wrap this um, set setup video in this only so let's select the matrix of click on run query so i can see so this matrix are showing here so you can see the matrix here okay of instances of okay you can see now let's go back to the document here what is saying okay click on add import the dashboard now we are going to import the dashboard so dashboards click on dashboard click on new click on import uh, just hit uh, we we have to provide the URL or the uh, dashboard ID so I am going to use dashboard 1860 which is node exporter full okay uh, full node exporter uh, you can give the like uh, grafana uh, dashboard id here as well and you can give the full url just click on load so node exporter full you can see it here right then select your data source prometheus then click on import so let's wait for few seconds here and here we go we can see the data right here uh, CPU busy 0.200 percent uh, syslode uh, sorry uh, syslode 15 average minute 5 minute RAM used 38 percent swap used not available root FS used 23.9 uh, percent or something like that so if you have to like use uh, and trigger the alert then you have to install alert manager on this server as well that alert manager and you need to do some configuration for the alert manager uh, then only you you will be like getting uh, alert getting triggered on your specified uh, slack channel or email id and whatever configuration you have done according to that alert will trigger and you can monitor your environment uh, and as you can see the here cpu basic memory network uh, traffic basic disk uh, space used basic and you can import like there is a lot of uh, grafana dashboard available that you don't need to create from scratch and you can just know the um, grafana dashboard id and you can just create and um, using that only id you can import that um, dashboard here right so that's it we have successfully set up uh, prometheus grafana and node exporter to monitor our target ec2 instance 
so i hope you found this video informative and helpful if you have any query then please uh, put uh, them in the comment section i will be assisting you on that and please keep keep supporting don't forget to subscribe and like my channel have a nice day happy learning thanks thanks for watching